Hi friends, this is the Science Chef. In this video, we'll be learning about the general gas equation. Please don't go anywhere, I'll be right back after this break. General gas equation is a combination of the Boyle's and Charles's law. If you'd like to learn more about these laws, check the link in the description. According to Boyle's law, V is inversely proportional to P at constant T, and Charles's law states that V is directly proportional to T at constant P. If we combine both laws, we obtain a joint variation between V, T, and P. When we introduce a proportionality constant, the combined law becomes PV equals to KT. The arrangement of the above equation shows that the ratio of the product of the volume and pressure of the gas to its temperature is constant. Hence, at two different conditions, P1V1 over T1 equals to P2V2 over T2. We had P1 and P2 as the initial and final pressures respectively, V1 and V2 as the initial and final volumes respectively, and T1 and T2 as the initial and final temperatures in Kelvin. Before we see how to apply the general gas equation, let's learn about a new concept. According to Robert Boyle and Jackie Charles, the volumes of gas is changed remarkably when there are changes in temperature and pressure. So, if two scientists in two different places, a temperate region with low temperatures and a tropical region with high temperatures, were to carry out some studies on a particular gas, their gas volumes will vary widely because of the temperature differences between the two regions. In order to avoid this, scientists decided that 0 degrees Celsius or 273 Kelvin be the temperature and 760 millimeters mercury or 1.01 times 10 to the power 5 newton per meter squared or 1 atm be the pressure at which gas volumes are reported or measured. These values, when used together, are commonly known as standard temperature and pressure and abbreviated as STP. Let's now see how to apply the general gas equation. Question 1. A given mass of gas occupies a volume of 450 cm cube at 350 Kelvin and 1.5 atm. Calculate the volume of the gas at STP. Solution. From the question, the initial temperature T1 is 350 Kelvin, while the final temperature T2 is the standard temperature that is 273 Kelvin. The initial pressure P1 is 1.5 atm, while the final pressure P2 is the standard pressure that is 1 atm. The initial volume V1 is 450 cm cube, and we have to calculate the final volume V2. Since the question involves changes in pressure, volume and temperature of a gas at two different conditions, we'll apply the general gas equation. P1V1 over T1 equals to P2V2 over T2 and make V2 the subject of formula and then evaluate the equation to obtain 526.5 cm cube as the final volume of the gas. Question 2. A sample of oxygen gas occupies a volume of 0.5 dm cube at 230 degrees Celsius and 1.01 times 10 raised to the power 5 newton per meter square. What volume will it occupy at 2.02 times 10 raised to the power 5 newton per meter square and 180 degrees Celsius? Solution From the question, the initial temperature T1 is 230 degrees Celsius, which is equivalent to 503 Kelvin, while the final temperature T2 is 180 degrees Celsius, equivalent to 453 Kelvin. The initial pressure P1 is 1.01 times 10 to the power 5 newton per meter squared, while the final pressure P2 is 2.02 times 10 to the power 5 newton per meter squared. The initial volume V1 is 0.5 dm cube. The final volume V2 is to be determined. Being a PVT relationship, we'll apply the general gas equation P1V1 over T1 equals to P2V2 over T2. Make V2 the subject of formula and evaluate the equation to obtain 0.2 dm cube as the final volume of the gas. Question 3. 250 cm cube of a gas at 50 degrees Celsius exerts a pressure of 730 millimeters mercury. Calculate its pressure if its volume is increased to 280 cm cube at 65 degrees Celsius. Solution. From question 3, we are given the initial and final temperatures T1 and T2 at 50 degrees Celsius and 65 degrees Celsius which are equivalent to 323 Kelvin and 338 Kelvin respectively. The initial and final volumes V1 and V2 as 250 cm cube and 280 cm cube respectively. The initial pressure P1 
at 730 mm mercury and asked to determine the final pressure P2. So using the general gas equation, P1 V1 over T1 equals to P2 V2 over T2. Making P2 the subject of formula and evaluating the equation, we obtain 682.1 mm mercury as the final pressure of the gas. Question 4. At STP, a certain mass of gas occupies a volume of 800 cm cube. Find the temperature at which the gas occupies 1,300 cm cube and has a pressure of 746 mm mercury. Solution. Here, the initial pressure P1 is the standard pressure 760 mm mercury and the final pressure P2 is 746 mm mercury. The initial and final volumes V1 and V2 are 800 cm cube and 1,300 cm cube respectively. The initial temperature T1 is the standard temperature 273 Kelvin and we have to find the final temperature T2. So given a PVT relationship, you will make use of the general gas equation P1 V1 over T1 equals to P2 V2 over T2. Make T2 the subject of formula and evaluate the equation to obtain 435.5 Kelvin as the final temperature of the gas. In our next tutorial, we will be looking at the ideal gas equation. Subscribe and turn on your notification bell to get notified when the video is published.